In this video, you're going to take a pen, roll it in a piece of paper, block it from both of the ends and then vanish it just like that. So let's get started. There are two ways of doing this trick. The first one is while sitting in front of a table and the second one is while standing in front of the spectator. Now, in the first one, it is very easy one and I've already discussed that technique in my last video in the 10 visual pain magic tricks that anyone can do. So the link to that video will be given in the description box as well as in the cards and move on to the timestamp 11 minutes 39 seconds so that you can watch the specific trick done on top of a table and the tutorial along with it. Now if you have watched that video, the one that I'm going to teach you today, that is the second one, the technique is the same, that is vanishing technique of the pen is the same but the handling is a little bit different. So what you do in this trick is, you have a pen and you have a newspaper, okay, a piece of newspaper. Now you can also use a tissue paper but you need to have a textured one and the reason is you are going to create an illusion that the pen is still inside the uh, paper roll and um, if you have a textured one or a printed one then it is very easy to keep that illusion because because of the prints or the texture the real depth or the real thickness of the paper will be hidden that's why i use newspaper more often because it's not like that you're going to get a textured tissue paper every single time so and the thing is in with newspapers they are very good at retaining shape that they are uh, fold it onto so if I take this pen and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rolling the pen inside the newspaper and I'm going to make sure that I'm not uh, making the roll too tight with the pen I'm going to keep it loose so that after the roll is complete then if I tilt this newspaper you can see that the pen is coming out from its bottom so that is what I'm going to do so after I roll this paper I hold the paper just like that and then I start blocking this part by twisting it and as I do that what I do is I tilt this paper and the pen comes out and it hits my body so the pen stays inside the paper roll so that's how I create the illusion that the pen is not falling and I'm twisting it right over here so for that reason the spectators are going to believe that the pen is still over here because they don't see anything falling now what I do is after twisting this part I come over here and then I grab this part and what I do is I move this part towards the uh, towards upside and as I do that the pin actually goes down it comes out just like that and it falls into this hand and as it falls into this hand what I do is I grab the pin with these two fingers and I start twisting this part so from the front they won't be able to see that the pin is actually over here now that is the thing that I need to do. Then what I need to do is I need to hold this page, uh, sorry, this paper roll. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this and I'm going to drop this hand by the side of my body very casually and then drop this pen inside my pocket. But if you are going to be very nervous while doing that, what you need to do is you need to turn your body towards your right. Because I'm holding the pen with my right hand, I'm going to turn my body towards my right and I'm going to drop the hand by the side of my body and since I'm turning right my entire body is covering up what my right hand is doing so that's how I can secretly drop this pen into my pocket and there's one more thing you have to keep your eyes on this paper not on the pen so if you keep your eyes on this paper the spectators uh, what they're going to do is they're also going to keep their eye on this paper so they're going to think that you're going to do something fishy with the paper because you're looking at it but you are actually getting rid of the pen so after you get rid of the pen these are the two points where you twisted the paper you come over here you uh, put the paper between these two fingers you put the roll between these two fingers and you put the other side of the paper roll where you uh, twisted it between these two fingers and then on the count of three you just crumple it up just like that and it looks like that the pen inside it has vanished and then you simply just take it and throw it away now there's a reason why you throw it away first of all the spectators they are going to think that okay so the pen is made up of something it will again elongate but no 
if you throw it away it will still be crumpled in the air and it is going to still fall down so the spectators are going to totally believe that you have vanished the pen and the second thing is even if they pick up the paper in order to see where the pen has gone while they're picking up the paper you can just go ahead and adjust the pen inside your pocket or maybe just take it out from your pocket and put it somewhere else safe so that nobody can find the pen afterwards and then you can just bring it bring the pen out in your own way you can produce the pen in your own way so that's how this trick is done that's it for the tutorial thanks for watching peace